welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is phil in case you're clicking this video for the first time you are very much welcome let's make some chicken curry this one is so so good i know many of you out there love chicken curry i really really love chicken curry and this recipe is super super simple anyone can make this at home with very simple ingredients i've listed the ingredients in the description box down below so don't forget to check on that the chicken comes out super soft and tender and the gravy from this curry yo it is so so good you will love it with some rice or some garlic or even some chapati i enjoyed mine with some rice and i tell you i really really loved it so without saying more let's get started so here I have one whole chicken. This is one kg chicken. I've really washed it nicely. Guys, don't forget to wash your chicken. I've also cut it into smaller pieces and I've also removed the skin. You can remove the skin, you can just leave the skin on. Also for our chicken, we will need some spices. So here I have some cumin powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder some salt and also some cayenne for that spicy kick but if you don't like your food spicy just omit the cayenne we will also need some crushed garlic and ginger this is about one tablespoon so let's get to cooking So here I have my pan ready. I'm just going ahead to add some vegetable oil. I'm adding about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You'll then add the chicken pieces to your pan. Spread that evenly around the pan and then I'm just going to turn this while cooking for about two minutes. Now you will add the crushed garlic and the crushed ginger. Give that a quick mix. You're going to cook this again for another three minutes. So chicken curry has a lot of methods on how to prepare it. I like to use another method where you first marinate the chicken meat. But today I'll be showing you a very easy method on how to make your chicken curry. It doesn't even take time and it gives you amazing results. The chicken comes out with so much flavor. So now let's add in the spices that I mentioned earlier. I've also added some salt. So just go ahead and give this a quick quick mix until everything is nicely incorporated. So just keep on turning this and let the chicken cook for about 3 more minutes. So our chicken looks ready at this point. It's actually half cooked. It's going to continue cooking in our gravy. So we'll just slowly remove it from the pan. Place it in a bowl, set that aside for our next step. So once you've removed all the chicken pieces from the pan, you'll see that your pan has those small bits sticking at the bottom. That has a lot of flavor, don't wash it away. So we're just going to use the same pan to make our chicken gravy. And here are all the ingredients that we'll be using for the chicken gravy. So in your pan, you will add some nicely sliced onions. I'm using one medium onion. Saute that for about one minute. Next, you're going to add some crushed garlic and ginger. You'll continue sauteing that for another one minute or until the onions are nicely fragrant now we will add the chopped tomatoes i'm using two medium-sized tomatoes you can as well go ahead and blend the tomatoes i'm also going ahead to add some tomato paste i'm using one tablespoon of tomato paste you'll continue cooking this for about one minute give that a quick mix while scrapping out all the chicken bits that are stuck at the bottom of the pan so next we're just going to let the tomatoes cook until they're tender so you will just cover your pan with a lid and then you're going to let that cook for about three minutes you go in with your cooking spoon and you just crush all those tomatoes until you have a nice paste
these are all the seasonings for our gravy here i have some curry powder cumin powder coriander powder turmeric powder some salt and i also have some whole cardamom i'm using three cardamom pores i'm also going ahead to add some black peppercorns so i'm using eight black peppercorns for this recipe and by the way the black peppercorns are a bit spicy so if you don't like your food spicy or if you're making this for kids you can just omit that just go ahead and give that a quick mix next you're going to add the chicken pieces back to our pan and once you're done you're just going to give everything a quick mix for about two minutes So now I'm going ahead to add some yogurt. I'm using half a cup of plain yogurt. Yogurt gives this curry a yummy, tangy taste. In place of yogurt, you can as well use cream. So go ahead, give that a quick mix. This will take about one minute. The chicken looks amazing at this point. So for our final step, we're just going to add some water. So I've added about half a cup of water. Give that a quick mix. And then we're just going to cover this. You're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes of a medium low heat or until our chicken is nicely cooked and tender. And our chicken is ready. It smells so amazing, guys. So I like to finish mine with some green chilies, which is actually very optional. I've also added some chopped coriander leaves. Go ahead and serve that while it's still hot. It smells so amazing. It tastes as amazing as it looks. The chicken is tender and just melts in your mouth. And the gravy from this curry is so amazing. You guys are going to really love this. Make this for your family, for your friends, and I hope everyone enjoys this as much as I did. And that's what I'm making today guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're going to try this yummy chicken curry. And as you can see, it's very simple to make. You can enjoy this with your family, with your friends. If you try it, don't forget to tell me how yours came out in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more of my amazing recipes. We can always connect on Instagram or on TikTok at feels underscore kitchen. So till my next video guys, bye!